This is coming up right now on WPD News Channel 15 at 6. First, late this afternoon, video gambling owners file a lawsuit to try and stop the video poker ban that will go into effect next month. We'll have details. Also, officers from across the state are gearing up for the Atlantic Beach Memorial Day Bike Fest. I'm Ann Stevens. I'll have that story up next. Plus, a massive fire alters the face of downtown Florence. We'll have details on that. And nearly seven years after a child disappears from Dillon, the family is still holding out hope. I'm Crystal Candy. I'll have that story coming up. Meteorologist Ed Piotrowski will have the latest on the severe weather heading to, through our area, and he introduces us to Doppler 15. Rich Crampanis will also have the day in sports. News Channel 15 at 6 is right now. With Keith Sterling and Allison Floyd. And now, the Grand Strand and PD's number one source for local news. WPDE News Channel 15. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for News Channel 15 at 6. I'm Keith Sterling. And I'm Allison Floyd. A lot of news to get to tonight, but first, the weather making news at this hour. Several severe thunderstorms moving through our area right now. WPDE News Channel 15's Chief Meteorologist Ed Piotrowski is here with a first look. Ed? All right, thanks a lot, guys. Severe thunderstorm watch is in effect for all of eastern South Carolina and southern North Carolina this hour. That goes until 10 o'clock tonight. Now, let's take a look at Doppler 15. We are utilizing the two most powerful Doppler radars found anywhere in the country to show you what's happening in our neck of the woods. And we do have a powerful line of showers and storms already heading toward the Grand Strand, moving toward North Myrtle Beach, Little River in the next five or 10 minutes further south. It certainly is very dark as you look out to the west. That rain is all heading toward the Grand Strand, especially on the south. And what we'll do just a little bit later on is take you even closer to these storms, get down to the level where you can see exactly where they are in each and everybody's neighborhood, and also tell you, according to our storm table, which one of these storms may be producing hail, which may be producing circulations that could be evident of tornadoes. All that coming up just a little bit later on. Keith and Allison? All right, Ed. Thank you very much. Great to have that tool. Well, in other news tonight, if you thought the video gambling industry wouldn't give up without a fight, you were right. Video gambling operators are suing the state. They want to put a stop to the video poker ban that will go into effect next month. The gambling industry is claiming the ban is illegal, saying the state is taking their property without compensation. The gambling operators also say that they are entitled to petition the government under their First Amendment. The lawsuit was filed in Greenville by a group of video poker owners. State Attorney General Charlie Condon says the lawsuit is an act of desperation by the industry. We'll have much more on this story for you coming up tonight at 11 o'clock on the Night Beat. In other news, the Atlantic Beach Memorial Day Bike Fest now officially underway. The bikers are already arriving, and by this weekend, more than 100,000 expected to be cruising our streets. Police from across the state are already gearing up for one of the biggest weekends on the Grand Strand. Joining us now with more is WPDE News Channel 15's Ann Stevens. Ann, getting busier, huh? Yeah, Keith, more than a thousand officers are gearing up right here on the Grand Strand. They're coming in from all across the state. This is a huge weekend for the Grand Strand, that one that requires the extra manpower. Traffic. Large crowds. Eating motorcycles and lots of officers on the streets this weekend. Hopefully high visibility is going to keep the crowd under control, keep the noise problems down, and keep the traffic moving at a steady pace along Ocean Boulevard. The traffic is not confined to the ocean front. On Highway 17 in North Myrtle Beach, police say keeping the traffic moving can often be an impossible task. When the traffic comes to a stop, that's when our problems begin. Um, you know, idle, idle time, idle minds, and uh, they, they think of the things to do when they sit still in traffic, and unfortunately, they're not good things. One of the major traffic problems, motorcyclists who weave in and out of traffic. Officers say it seems every year the risky maneuver becomes more common. That does present a, a terrible hazard to them as well as the other motoring public, and uh, we have uh, brought in some additional motor units and bicycle patrol units this year to try and address that problem. Yeah, and you can add nearly 100 constables to that law enforcement list. Now, these guys will start showing up tonight. They're volunteers, but they have police power. They'll be carrying a badge. They'll also be carrying weapons, and they'll start patrolling this weekend. Keith? It's going to be a busy weekend, and thank you very much. Obviously, traffic along the Grand Strand is a big concern. This year, officials are trying some new ways to keep the cars and bikes moving. In North Myrtle Beach, from 46th Avenue south at Barefoot Landing up to Atlantic Beach, the far right lane on Business 17, 
will be designated as a right turn only lane. The other two lanes, inner, will carry northbound traffic. Barricades will be put out tonight to help control traffic. And as in years past in Myrtle Beach, you can only travel one way on Ocean Boulevard from 29th Avenue North to US 17. Northbound lanes will be used for emergency vehicles only. Both traffic plans officially go into effect tonight at midnight. A massive fire in downtown Florence destroys a clothing store business and endangers several other buildings. WPDE News Channel 15's Tanya Brown was at the scene and has more. Firefighters worked frantically to extinguish the flames inside Lachey's fashions. The fire started in the back of the building and quickly spread to the front, causing the top floor of the building to collapse. Yellow police tape protected the crowd of spectators from being hit by flying debris. I was just driving downtown. I, I see the uh, fire uh, uh, smoke in the air, so I stopped to see what was going on. I know some of the people down here. Some business owners near Lachey's Fashion say the fire was so out of control at one point, they were afraid it would spread to their businesses. My glass even cracked from the intense heat. I'm right across the street from it. And um, it's something that I'm glad my store didn't hit on fire. Business owners say the fire destroyed an historic part of Florence, one that won't be easy to replace. These buildings down here, most of them are over 100 years old. Even mine is over 100 years old. And uh, it's a sad thing. That was Tanya Brown reporting. Uh, fire investigators hope to have a cause on that blaze in the next few days. Well, a 100-acre brush fire in Horry County is still raging, but forestry officials say it is contained. The fire broke out last night near the Conway Bypass on Highway 90. More than 35 firefighters were on the scene trying to control the blaze. Today, forestry officials say firefighters are having a tough time because of thick vegetation in the wooded area. Firefighters say this is the biggest brush fire so far this year in Horry County. No injuries have been reported and no structures have been damaged. Bond is denied for the 16-year-old accused of kidnapping, raping, and shooting a woman on Monday. Police say Alex Dewan Taylor started his crime spree in Conway, where he allegedly pointed a handgun at a woman and forced her to drive to an undisclosed business in the county. That's where police say Taylor sexually assaulted the victim. Taylor was chased down by Myrtle Beach Police later that evening, resulting in Taylor hitting another vehicle then being arrested. Horry County Police are charging the teen with criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, assault and battery with intent to kill, and kidnapping. Conway Police have also charged Taylor with carjacking and kidnapping. He's being charged as an adult. The victim is in stable condition at the local hospital. More than 2,000 children are reported missing every day in the United States. And today on National Missing Children's Day, child advocates want to renew efforts to find kids and bring them home to their families. No one wants to be reunited more than a family of a girl taken seven years ago from Dylan. WPDE News Channel 15's Crystal Candy has their story.